Hello, and welcome to this, a match between myself as Ptolemies and Naz as Spartans. Bit of a slow start there. But it gets everything going in the end. Straight out with a storehouse and a farmstead. Straight onto wicker baskets, perhaps? Two more ladies. Baskets yet. I've got no baskets either. A little slow microing these houses instead. I don't know what I'm doing. Why haven't I got the wicker baskets? I mean, I guess it's not super important since there's only a small amount of berries. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting them both now. Must have been doing some crazy micro. <laughs> some wood chopping going on. It's very good. Spartan houses are nice. Little flag hanging out the window. Just to let the neighbours know that they are Sydney Swans supporters. <laughs> ah dear. That's a, uh, it's a sporting team. In case you are from a country that is not this one. I can see everything from here almost. I can see over there. I can see both bases. But the FPS drops to almost zero. I like this guy's cape that he's got. He's got like full a cape. And like why though is my question. I also like that they use wood chopping stuff on their little bushes. It's like... It looks like this. any of these people here could just reach one hand down and pull it out of the ground. Be like, well, I've got the um, 50 wood, here it is. But you can't do that, that's, you know, imbalanced. Anyway, oh, I've got the sheep going towards the thing. Civic Centre, got some ladies making a field. Getting the farming upgrade before the f first film has even finished being built. So that entire upgrade, that entire 300 wood, or I guess, actually no, that's the cost for the next one. Anyway, it's, it's probably about that though. And these are only 75 or 100 for Spartans. What, are they cheaper for me? I thought they were only 75. No, they're 100. Are they 75 for somebody? Can I like check that from here? Nah. Uh, okay. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, checking stuff out. The picture of it has a horns on and, and the actual doesn't have horns on. This is Deceptive advertising and the A Triple C. You'll be you'll be getting a letter from them saying this is against the rules. I cannot do this. Wow, a storehouse again, right there. This is 
some epic stuff happening here. I, I, I guess some really good, uh, decently well enough usage of resources. Barracks here. Interesting. I would have put it like here. Why didn't I look at everything like straight on like this? Instead of on that funny angle. Like, hmm. like this is the way that I should be setting up my camera to play the game. Maybe not for watching it, but to play the game. I think this is probably really good. Like way more optimal. Because, ah, oh, just see everything better. I don't know. Never mind me. Look at this fella here, this lady. She's wearing the same dress that these ladies are wearing. Except they've she's got a better necklace. Fire looks pretty good. How are we going for population and stuff? <laughs> pretty even, like Naz has a fairly low uh, rating, at least at this point. Perhaps uh, this was a, for a week or two ago, this replay. I imagine that Naz is probably at about my level now, in about the 1400s, because Naz knows what they're doing. They, you know. doing I mean look at this this is really good if Ptolemies weren't so overpowered no oh, I'm I'm doing pretty good on that as well six minutes in yeah we're both playing actually quite well here like keeping on top of our uh, resources using as much as we spend kind of thing oh what's this Just having a little poke. And I notice and send my camel archers full of food, mind you, over to check out what's going on there. I haven't got enough units on wood. I guess I pulled a lot off wood here to make into fields. Mm. And how's my composition? 61 ladies. That's... That's quite a few ladies. This guy... Getting right up into my grill. Like seven dudes all just chopping this one tree. I'm pretty coordinated. Wow. That tree is not long for this world, I will tell you that much. These Ptolemy's houses weren't so bad. The new ones are nicer, but these ones weren't so bad. Maybe they'll stay in the game for mods to be able to use them as decorations on maps or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I can't zoom. Can't quite zoom out that far or the FPS drops. Let's just do it from about here for a little while. Just to keep it smooth and nice. How are we going for resources? Sorry, I haven't really been keeping track of the game. I've just been focusing on looking at things. And... Oh yeah, so three out of four upgrades there. Never bothered with wicker baskets whatsoever. Nice little defensive tower over here near the copse of trees. Really likes to push in with these storehouses, which is good. It's a good strategy. Um, I would have used this storehouse though, here because then it services the copse of trees and the wood and the, uh, sorry, the metal. Um, 
Yeah, whereas here it's only doing one. It could be doing two things. I mean, it still will service that copse of trees, but that that lady was walking for oh, about five seconds. I'll try and count one when they when they pull off of here and go. It's like four or five six. Oh yeah! Whoa! Whoa! That was easily like six or seven seconds because of the pathing. Had to path around and around. Yeah, yeah. That could have been one second if it was just moved over just a little, like an entire, you know, moved over. An entire moved over. Moved over about the size of itself again. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain there. Um, the size of it is how far over it needs to be moved over by. I still don't know if that 100% explains it. I mean, it kind of does. Ugh, that was, that was a bit weird. Oh, look at this, though. This is... I mean, how is the population going now? Yeah, the Ptolemies start to pull away now. Phase 2. Not yet Phase 2 for Naz. All four upgrades. Yeah, about that. Whereas I'm looking at uh, the next level of upgrades again. Temple and the racks. And the storehouse. Yeah, I need to bother to like... Although that's actually not so bad. I was going to say I should, when I'm playing, bother to move my camera a bit and... Put it in a better position relative to the trees, but uh, in fact, that that's actually pretty decent. That's not quite so decent, like, and it's probably because uh, like my camera would have been like this, basically, something like this, and I've been like, oh yeah, just put it there. Whereas if my camera was here, I could have almost, you know, almost an entire building size over moved. <laughs> I like how the temple is up on a hill. It's kind of like on the top of the hill there. Oh, there's a lady inside. Hmm. Like, the Egyptians were pretty based in a few ways, I guess. Like, I mean... They had female gods and stuff, that's pretty, that's pretty based. That's pretty woke, I don't mind a bit of woke. It's just unsubscribed, oh no, oh. Oh no, oh well, well, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh dear, it's politics now, it's politics and zero D. It's not just zero D. Now it's woke stuff. Yeah. Female empowerment and stuff. I don't know, I'm not, you know. I'm not, uh... Highly <laughs> knowledgeable on explaining progressive values, but uh, generally when somebody speaks one of them, I would tend to agree. I'm like, oh yeah, no, yeah, fair enough. That's the kind of thing that I would say. <sighs> yeah, well, that happened. I talked about that for a little while instead of the game. Uh, what's what do we got? What do we got here? Ah, oh, just boom. Thirty ahead. Head on the foot, not on the wood. Naz is really going hard on the wood. Yeah, like this is a big deal. Building these extra storehouses. They cost like, what, 100? And then... 
Yeah. So this movement time is actually pretty hectic. Like, this is too many uh, units on one cops of trees, though. I've got to say that. Although a lot of them are here for building. But, yeah. Only, only barely, though. Like, I think about 20 to 25 units for one cops of trees is probably the most efficient yeah, in terms of avoiding problems with pathfinding and units bouncing around other units before they get back to actually chopping the tree again. You know what else is based is the there's a civilization uh, in Zero D that has like warrior women and that's based. Um, I don't remember which civilization it is. It's one of the ones that you know, one of the more obscure ones. Which one is it? Iberians. I'm pretty sure it's Iberians. They've got like warrior ladies or something. I think. Maybe. Oh, they got priestess. That's that's cool. Don't they have, like, warrior ladies or something? Never mind me, I'm just gonna... ...look at units for a little while. I thought they did. Well, anyway. Maybe it's not Iberians, maybe it's another one. Macedonians? I don't know. I don't know what, the ones that, the ones that have wall to start with walls around. I thought that was Iberians. No, oh, anyway. <laughs> that happened for a little while. music though. Omri Larav. Lara Larav. I don't know I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's too epic for my feeble tongue to to um do anything about it's good at like pushing out with the buildings, like good at um making use of expansion. I mean, it, d it doesn't end up being as relevant when other civilizational levels are achieved. Age phases. The next phase is achieved. But it's still, like, it's good in the interim, and it's just, I don't know, it's good all over. Is this still a bit... Con... Con... Um... Hmm. Congregated? No, that's not the word. What's the um like traffic congested? Yeah, it's still a bit congested here. But not so bad. Already got the fortress going up. Like it's pretty. Eh, I mean, you know, Naz is really nazzing it up. It's so annoying that that happens, like, when you click to drag, the game just kind of, every time the box goes over an another unit, the game lags <laughs> for, like, a second. Ugh. I don't think it's quite as bad, maybe, in, um, Alpha 24. I haven't really checked, actually. but I don't remember it being that way. Oh, a little bit of mist micro here. Not, not so bad, but oh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, getting the upgrades, it's, you know. Wow, why the stone upgrade? There's no more stone. 
How long ago did you get that stone upgrade? <laughs> oh, now you're getting it right now? <laughs> Why? There's no more. Where is the stone that you're gonna mine? There's there is none. This stone, I guess. I mean, I guess. But then, what are you gonna use it for? How late are you anticipating this game going? Like, really? I re don't generally go for these ones. I get maybe sharp accents, but I don't really bother with these other ones. They just seem to be resources that I could prefer to spend on building units. I, I definitely am not anticipating this game going into the very, very, very late phase of uh, gameplay. I'm anticipating building a fortress, getting a couple of... What is this happening? Getting a couple of... Ho elephants out and then doing some stuff but the thing is has these spartans has got the rams coming out before my elephants i do have my hero elephant but um yeah where does the uh, they need to build a special hero hall for their heroes yeah okay Oh, and got the hero, and it's, uh, Brazidus. Bra Brazidus? Is that a hero? Why doesn't it have any special stuff? Oh, yeah. Plus 25% attack and plus one armor for javelin infantry citizen, shoulder, sol citizen soldiers. Which you don't... I mean, you've got... 27 of them, I guess. So, yeah, okay. Wow, look at this happening. Like, neither of us really knows that the other is doing this. <laughs> like, no, we only just then. Wow, how coordinated was that, though, actually? Neither of us knew at all that we were both massing our force at that specific time, ready to go into battle. Like,. That's pretty epic. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'm just going to watch this fight for a while. I was going to go and have a look at the um, armory or blacksmith, I think it is. Yeah. To uh, check the upgrades for armor and weaponry and the like. But I'm just, in, in fact, instead just going to watch this fight because this is pretty hectic. So I imagine I'm going to be bringing some more units off the line. No, I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> I've just decided this is what I'm doing for now. I guess I've got some other micromanagement happening in the background. I'm really just focused on these battering rams at the moment and nothing else. So I expect that I would be building, yes, some... Um, okay, so, right, then I'm probably just letting some of these units go down so I have the population capacity to build my Tower War Elephants. But in any case, here, here it goes. This is all... Happening here, the Tom Myos is doing his thing. This guy is doing his thing too. Brazada, Brazadas. So most of these units are going to go down, but these units are now coming out. And right, just when I pull some more units off the line, um. What was it? Uh, Naz? I was going to say Kaz. Naz. Did a similar little mini retreat, but then just put his units in a four, nice little formation back here. Getting a lot of experience, these skirmishers. Actually doing quite well with the uh, Brassida. Oh, they're fighting each other, like, straight up, are they? <laughs> Where's the president? Oh no, he's over there. Oh. Brazidas remains, yet Tomaios falls. Right. I'm going to probably want to pull some more units online at this point, which is in fact what I am doing. Uh, my armory is here. So I've got everything at this point. 
And uh, Naz is not too far off either. Having the uh, armor upgrades, but not... Is that level 1 or level 2? I don't know. It definitely doesn't have everything, though. I can say that much. Right, and things have become hectic. So I'm putting now all this loot, 39 wood, into the uh, thingy there. I'm basically just stalling for time while I <laughs> get these elephants out. Okay, getting the other units over. This is pretty much a last ditch kind of thing. Although I'm probably, yeah, building a lot more. Just got to keep up on that. Okay, I've switched straight to Cleopatra. Not even bothering with building another Tom Miles to get the um, the bonus on green units. Um, it's good that they're color-coded, like the mercenary units that Tom Miles has the resource benefit for uh, colored green, which is good. Right, wow, this is hectic. So we've got two towers. And we've got this going on over here. Sent my elephant straight to it because this just has to go. Oh, the elephant's coming out at about the same time as the battering rams. These battering rams, in fact, probably will just survive this. I'm going to want to probably make some horses or something, but there's not really something that uh, Tommy's does. <laughs> uh, so, it's when these battering rams get past, I mean, it's bad time it's like not it's it's not a happy day so probably going to want to do something about it what am i doing i'm i'm <laughs> reforming my units up and just kind of retreating stopping every now and then to put put an attack off kind of that's kind of good but uh this is gonna go down Straight up. Um, what does Ptolemies really actually do? I mean, I guess the, oh yeah, horses, the cav uh, guard cavalry, I forget about those. That's what should have been done. I mean, did I lose all their resources just then? Ugh. Um, yeah, so looking kind of bad for the Ptolemies here at the moment. There's battering rams. Getting right into it. These fights on the water are so nice. <laughs> something, you know, ancient about it. It's thematically appropriate. I mean, I don't even know what I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so wow, this is hectic. What <laughs> these battery grabs can just go wild. At this point, what do my units really do against battery grabs? I've got nothing. I need horses. This is certainly something. So what is the situation with population at the moment? I'm still ahead of Naz on population. But I would, as Ptolemy's, feel a lot more comfortable if I were, in fact, at... 300 population kind of the sweet spot for Ptolemies uh, which kind of um, mm, makes things a bit difficult considering that setting the population cap that high is uh, devastating to CPUs <laughs> I even got some ladies coming in I'm, I'm real just desperate I m might have micromanaged the ladies out of the fight if I okay so, yeah, if I went so hectic about it, at trying to get rid of those, I might have micromanaged the ladies out, but I just, no, that's not, that's not happening. These battering rams need to go right away. And go they did. It's so peaceful over here. We're over to this copse of trees now. Have I got, like, wheelbarrow or something like that? Okay, so at this point, I've just got everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to spend money because, I mean, what else do I do with all of this? Whereas Naz is on the 
rocks by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> yeah, Ptolemies are unfair. <laughs> Late game. Like, if they, if they don't really get harassed early and are allowed to get phase three and all of their stuff, they just... I mean, what is this? I was on 200 population not long ago. And now it's basically pop capped again. Population so much that the game is just like, nah, this that's too many. That's too many units. I can't render all of them at the, at the same time, bro. What are you trying to like make me do? Got the traditional red versus blue colors happening. Need to uh. View this more from above so that the. Eh, that doesn't really help the FPS much. And they're in the trees, so you can't really see much anyway, so. Um. They carry so much wood, like, look at all that wood. And the wood's perfect. Perfect wood. All the exact same size, color, consistency. That it's it's uh, it's pretty hectic. Well, that's uh, that is quite noisy. That is quite a thing. I'm just seeing the bars go up on the thing there now. I put the volume up because it was real way too quiet last time, but I think I might have put it up too much. I don't know. I'll be able to hear it back later anyway. So I managed to push back. No, nah, this there. Oh, but look at this. Oh. My system didn't freeze up this much when I was actually playing the game. I think something happened. There was an update to my system recently that actually broke performance a bit. <laughs> some software, some, I don't know, Mesa, maybe the driver, you know. I, I, something happened. And uh, FPS just is no good. <laughs> So did Naz not end up getting those other upgrades at all in the end? Because I am, I don't know, got the upgrades. It's just, um, I don't know, just, I've got more units, I guess. Elephants are so good against rams. I think they're better against rams than rams are against elephants kind of thing. I think one-on-one, -on -one, an elephant just, yeah, I think an elephant beats a ram one on one. I like the noises that elephants make. Very big, big noise, big, big mood. Where's their hero? No, in there now. On. Like one HP, 48 HP. This just really is happening, isn't it? So much happening is happening right now. It's fully. that to Gaia. Oh no, it's just it's hectic. Lost that to me. That's something. More elephants coming out. Oh, late game Ptolemies are so scary. Like, they just, just keep pumping it out. Like, the only thing that compares really is Romans, I think. 
Romans with all that siege, they're pretty, pretty hectic too. But uh, I took this over thinking that it was a uh, temple, which this is actually the temple over here. But, you know, close enough. These elephants aren't even making it to the... to over here. What are the elephants doing? Only one of them is attacking the... The fortress. That's all right. I'm Ptolemies. I'll be able to make another five of them. <laughs> Ptolemies late game. Ugh. It's so just. It's nasty. So yeah, I've got uh, Cleopatra back here, just wrecking everything. take that down in a half decent amount of time but no just wait for the elephants and go on to other things in the meantime other things like storehouse what get the temple what am i doing <laughs> i think i still haven't realized that the temple is actually this one <laughs> Oh, then I realized. There it is. So the elephants can't be too far off now. Another 14 seconds and probably another minute to walk over to the to the fortress. Elephants aren't known to be the fastest creatures in the world. So that's, that is for sure. Can't take over the temple, and it makes me upset. Still bringing out a lot of units, but not just not enough. The oh dear, Naz doesn't realise that uh, it's game over. Population doubled at this point. More elephants coming in. Just it's not good elephants going to take down the fortress very quickly oh, only three of those in there I could take over that temple now if I wanted to or if I realized how few units were inside Elephant sounds so big. So big. Oh no, the population now. Oh no. No, 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 no. And in fact, that is the end. How about it, though? That was such a thing. Naz did not do badly. Naz played well. I, I didn't... I must say that I did not expect it from a player at that rank, even though the ranking system in this is um, still a bit... not 100%. Reliable. Not enough games have been played in the total pool of players to really truly determine anything except for about the top 100 players. Everything outside of that is just a wild west. <laughs> Maybe top 500, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so buildings, yeah, okay, yeah, units. I mean, oh, Ptolemy's. Just look at them all, all them units. That's just too many units, basically. <laughs> too, too, much, too many resources. Some trade income. 
Didn't do much with the market otherwise. A KDA is terrible. Which is, well, I was the attacking force. And it was about 11 minutes into the game that things changed. And as actually ahead for a little portion of the game there. Ah, well. I hope that that was entertaining in some kind of way. And I hope that you have a good day. Peace.